So I really wanted to show how you can uh, block or route DNS um, queries across your network or not across your network, depending on what you want to do. Um, you might want to do this because you don't want people using any DNS servers other than yours, or you're a school and you need to lock it down, or you're an open network and you want to stop erroneous DNS from becoming a broadcast problem or going out and getting your IP banned or whatever. Um, many reasons why you might want to do that or you might be using uh, a pie hole and you might have devices that you can't stipulate uh, what DNS they use um, via DHCP which is a normal way that you do it. So there's many reasons why you might want to do this. Um, so uh, and there's kind of two methods of how you can do this. You can do it using uh, firewall rules, as in um, strict firewall rules, or you can do it using uh, network address translation if your router supports it. So I'm going to show you both. I'm using a Microtik uh, router board, um, just a, a standard five-port jobby, um, which we can we can log into here. Uh, I've got to show in the firewall, so it's normal quick set it's not really doing anything particularly special and then if we go into the IP section firewall you can see our firewall rules so if we go back to this diagram so this red line uh, represents our sort of boundary and this is our, our router that I just um, showed the uh, admin for so this is laptop I'm on at the moment this is our uh, sort of internal DNS server I've got a pie hole running uh, 192.168.0.10 um, router is dot one obviously because it's the, the default settings um, I have both an external DNS which is routed uh, on our LAN which is external to this network but not external to the internet uh, and then we've obviously got an upstream router uh, and then we've got external DNS and the rest of the internet so it's pretty standard for um, corporate you might say so uh, you would have sort of an internally firewalled network as well as a sort of a semi firewalled network that you might or a VPN uh, site to site network. So this server may actually be sitting somewhere else in the world. Anyway, so method one, um, which is I'm going to block all DNS apart from to my local DNS server. I'm going to send it out via DHCP, and if it breaks something, it breaks something. That's fine. Uh, so the way that we would do that is uh, we'd actually need two firewall rules. So let's add a firewall rule. So um, both forward firewall rules. And the way that we do this is we first of all need to allow our DNS server to reach the outside world. So what we do is we choose our protocol, which would be UDP. down here. Uh, DNS uses UDP mostly. Uh, destination port will always be 53. That's just how DNS works. And what we are going to do is we are going to accept that uh, that traffic. So uh, if we go back to our firewall rules you can see it down here. So this will accept and forward anything from our, currently our local network out so the first thing we need to do is move that up to here uh, and we also need to change that because we want to specifically only allow our DNS server to reach the outside world so that was on 0 0.10 so great so that means our uh, DNS server can reach the outside world and then what we need to do is we need to Block uh, the rest of them. So we'll do another one, uh, and the way we do this again is uh, UDP. Can't do it that way. UDP um, destination port 53, and what we'll do is down here we will just drop those packets. So apply back to our firewall rules, and we need to move that one up here. So. Uh, first thing we do is we accept packets from our DNS server and then second thing we do is we reject packets that are from all the rest of our network. So I'm just going to disable these for a moment. Uh, if we use NSLOOKUP, 
and we search for Google uh, and we'll use um, Cloudflare for the time being you can see I will uh, get a result which is great for consistency if I do the the DNS server 1, 2, 1, 6, 8, 0, 10, get the same result which is uh, great so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to enable the drop all packets that are port 53 or, or DNS um, and what you should see is that our external server is is not accessible from our LAN so uh, and obviously our internal server will be accessible because it doesn't route through our router's firewall because it's done at the switch level uh, that's not really a problem but the problem comes with the uh, with the internal DNS is that it also needs to be able to access the outside world so that's why this is important to have the second rule and I can show that this is definitely working and that we are definitely getting the right results because if I go to Pihole if I blacklist Google complete K and then rerun this test you find that you get the zero 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 and uh, which is how Pihole blocks things so that's how you might want to do it uh, so that's method one but that's susceptible to the if you can't set your DNS servers um, they will just not be able to resolve properly so you need to be able to tell your your clients that they uh, they what DNS server they need to be able to use and in a micro tick or micro tick you would set that in your DHCP server settings you can set your your DNS servers so let's go back to the firewall for a second, disable both those rules, great. So method number two is I'm going to redirect all traffic going out of the network that is DNS traffic to a specific external DNS server. Um, so the way we do this is using NAT, so you might want to do this if you're on a corporate network um, and you have uh, networks all over the world that have site to site VPN tunnels but you want all all DNS traffic coming out of all of your internal networks to hit a specific um, DNS server which is external to your network but not external to the world uh, and the way you might do this or the way that you can do this is using uh, network address translation um, and this is a single rule uh, so we you, it's a destination NAT rule so basically we're going to take our destination uh, now I'm going to go down to the action destination that so this means we're going to change the packets going out so they have a new um, they have new addresses so again we need to make sure that we're doing UDP and um, we want all destination port 53 so any traffic going out from anywhere on our network to anywhere externally um, that is UDP port 53 we're going to send down here using destination NAT to a specific external uh, DNS server so I'll apply that and I'll go back to the firewall rules so in the NAT I need to drag this one to the top so it applies first uh, there we go so now if I jump back to NS lookup uh, if I search locally we will get a result Is that that one? yeah um, but if I also try Cloudflare's DNS we will also get a result um, now to show that this is actually redirecting traffic if I go to my external uh, DNS server or external to me DNS server and if I quickly block Google you see it comes back with 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 which is what we'd expect from that IP being blocked in this in this way um, and that would be the same except for the fact that my internal DNS um, isn't looking up to that server so internal DNS servers I can still access because they're not being routed out so they're not being natted but anything that is being natted like Cloudflare's would be changed to, to what you might want it to be. 
Um, same for Google servers. So I'd better undo this before it causes havoc. So yeah, that's a destination net rule. Um, and these two two different methods allow you to, to route or block or modify DNS traffic leaving your leaving your network. And it is really, really simple using the uh, Microtik routers or routers, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, just thought I'd make a little video showing it. Thanks.